Dreaming of a better sleep? Tossing and turning is not your destiny. And Ollie is here to help. Ollie invites you to sink into sweet, sweet slumber to improve your mental and physical health and overall wellness. More than just melatonin, Ollie's ingredients help you unwind your mind for a delightfully dreamy drift off. Sleep is on the way at Ollie.com. That's O L L Y.com. This is Optimal Finance Daily, episode 2661 Three Unconventional Ways to Supercharge Your Savings by Paula Pant of AffordAnything.com. And I'm your host and personal finance enthusiast, Diana Merriam. We're going to get right to today's post and start optimizing your life. Three Unconventional Ways to Supercharge Your Savings by Paula Pant of AffordAnything.com Finish the following sentence. My dream is... Maybe you want to buy a house or backpack Europe or retire early. No matter what you want, Having a big old heap of savings makes each of these goals a million times easier. Gee, thanks, Captain Obvious, you're probably thinking. Easier said than done. Do you think saving money is hard? You might be listening to the wrong advice. If you're trying to nickel and dime your way into savings, then sure, you've got a grueling slog ahead. Imagine all the mental bandwidth that it takes to stack 50-cent orange juice coupons on top of 75 cent manufacturer coupons, tracking the expiration dates and appropriate stores for each item on your grocery list. Okay, we'll get bread and milk from store X, but yogurt and meat from store Y, we have to go to store X sometime between Sunday through Wednesday, and we can hit store Y anytime between Tuesday and Friday. Oh yeah, and let's stand in the snow at 3 a.m. on Black Friday to save $80 on a plasma TV. That's as appealing as running a marathon in flip-flops. If this is saving money, count me out. Fortunately, there's a better choice. What happens when you toss out conventional wisdom and focus on the actions that pack the most powerful punch? Let's explore. Number one, quit trying to budget. What's the single most overplayed nugget of financial advice? Make a budget. You should also floss, wear sunscreen daily, and drive exactly the speed limit and avoid that extra slice of cheesecake at the holiday party. Yeah, right, she says with a mouthful of cheesecake. We all know what we should do. Lack of knowledge isn't our problem. But that doesn't mean we're going to act on this great advice. Humans are busy and lazy. And when we're presented with two options, we're prone to take the easy route. Some people suggest that willpower, just do it, is the most effective solution. Force yourself to budget. Don't eat cookies. But decades of data show that willpower sucks at changing our lives. If you want to moralize, you can admonish people for lack of willpower. But if you want actual results, you should work with human nature rather than fight against it. In other words, embrace your inner sloth. So back to budgeting. If you're already in the habit of sticking to a written budget, awesome. If you're struggling to maintain a budget though, here's an easier path. Just shave your savings off the top, spend the rest. I call this the 80-20 budget, since I recommend that people save at least 20% of their take-home pay. That's enough to protect you against succumbing to credit card debt the next time your car's engine explodes. If you want the ditch the cubicle, become a millionaire, party in France money, morph this into the 50-50 budget. Shoot for a 50% or a greater savings rate. Don't bother tracking every cent. Just trim your savings off the top, stick it in your escape fund, go wild with the rest. Number two, left jab, earn more. I can hear your objections already, but I only make 40 grand a year, you might be thinking. There's no way that I could save 50% of my income on that type of salary. I agree, you should earn more. Pick up extra gigs during the evenings and weekends. Freelancing, consulting, babysitting, home renovating, tutoring, lawn mowing, snow shoveling, dog walking, pizza delivery. Earning extra money and saving every dime of that excess income is the single fastest and best way to supercharge your savings rate. Why? In one word, habit. It's hard to break habits and you've adjusted to your current standard of living, but you're not used to earning extra money. 
it's easy to pour every dime of this into savings. You'll never miss it because you've never experienced having it in the first place. How massive of a punch can this make? Let's assume that during your nine to five job, you earn a take-home income of 35 grand per year. Your savings rate is 20%, so your total savings is $7,000 per year. Next, let's imagine that you pick up gigs as a web designer or babysitter or French tutor. You earn $20 an hour and work an extra 20 hours per week from 7 to 9 p.m. every Monday through Friday, plus 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. every Saturday and Sunday. Gig money. Gross income, $20,800. Taxes at 28%, $5,824. Your extra net income, $14,976. You save every dime. That brings your total savings to $21,976. Boom, you've more than tripled your savings. That's the epic power of earning more. And number three, right punch. Find earth-shattering savings. Wait, can you take this a step further? Let's see if you can cut back on your biggest ticket expenses. Take the cost of your housing, for example. Can you stick a roommate in there? No way, I hate living with roommates. They leave dirty dishes in the sink and they never vacuum. And besides, I need a guest room for when Aunt Millie comes to visit, which happens twice a year. Right, okay, let me rephrase this. Do you, $500 per month, hate living with roommates? Insert cost of renting a room in your home into that sentence. Do you, $6,000 per year, hate living with roommates? If you're buried in credit card debt, multiply $6,000 by the interest rate on your loan. At 14% APR, you're paying $6,840 per year for that vacant guest room. Sounds different now, doesn't it? Let's try again. Can you and your spouse consolidate into a one-car household? Can you carpool to work? No way. What about the weekends? I want to be able to go out with my friends while he's at the gym. Okay, let me rephrase. Do you, $300 per month, want that flexibility? Would you be willing to get paid $3,600 per year to coordinate your schedules? Let me be clear. There's nothing wrong with keeping a vacant guest bedroom or maintaining multiple cars if you're willing to pay the price. The price tag may be higher than you expect. Willing to fork over those funds? Great. But if you're trying to save a big old heap of cash, remember, you must ruthlessly slash everything that doesn't matter, especially the big ticket stuff. Let's imagine that you get a roommate. You also make some small scale changes. You grow some veggies in your backyard, replace your halogen light bulbs with LEDs, negotiate your insurance rates, and wear the same few outfits again and again. How strong of a punch does this pack? Extra savings. Roommate, $500 a month. Veggies, $30 a month. Energy, $30 a month. Insurance, $30 a month. Clothes, $20 a month. Total savings, $610 a month, which is $7,320 a year. The vast majority of that, $6,000 per year out of that $7,320 came from the big ticket item. Add this to your $21,976 savings rate made possible by extra income. Your new total savings is $36,784. You're saving more money than your base take-home salary thanks to the one-two punch of earning more and cutting back on the big ticket items. With those type of turbocharged savings, you can escape the cubicle, buy a house, or backpack Europe sooner than you might expect. You just listened to the post titled Three Unconventional Ways to Supercharge Your Savings by Paula Pant of affordanything.com. And I'll be right back with my commentary. It's no secret that something always comes up when you're running a small business. It's time to take the pain out of payroll benefits and HR and put the joy back in running your business with Gusto. Gusto's payroll and HR services can make it a little easier. Gusto is designed for you, the small business owner. They take the pain out of running a business, automatically calculating paychecks, filing payroll taxes, setting up open enrollment, Gusto does it all. Want more? Time tracking, health insurance, 401k, onboarding, commuter benefits, offer letters, 
access to HR experts, you get the idea. With Gusto, you can focus on the joy of running your business. It's super easy to set up and get started. And if you're moving from another provider, Gusto can transfer all your data for you. It's no surprise 94% of customers are likely to recommend Gusto. 94. Here's the best part. Because you're a listener, you get three months totally free. All you have to do is go to gusto.com slash OFD. Again, that's gusto.com slash OFD. I'm telling you, you're gonna love Gusto. Get started today. Shipping can make or break a sale, so optimize how you ship your orders with ShipStation. They make it easy to automate and manage orders no matter how big your business grows. And they might even be able to help reduce shipping and warehouse costs. So optimize and keep up your momentum for growth with ShipStation. Sign up for your free 60-day trial now at ShipStation.com and use the code P-O-D. That's ShipStation.com with the code P-O-D. What I like about Paula's recommendations in this article is that she encourages people to focus on the big changes that are going to make the biggest difference in one's finances. When it comes to optimizing your expenses, If you focus on the big three of housing, transportation, and food, you really don't have to sweat most other small purchases. This has worked out so well for my family that we no longer budget or stress about tracking every dollar we spend. Our mortgage is $600 per month because we live in a lower cost of living area and I bought a house well below my means. We drive two fully paid off reliable cars and have set up our lives in a way that we don't do all that much driving. And I cook most of the meals we eat, mainly because I enjoy it, but also because it allows us to eat better than we would if we ate out all the time. And as an added bonus, it saves money. We also have the benefit of not being very materialistic, which certainly helps. But I think our focus on optimizing our spending on the big three allows us to not really think about the rest of our spending. We certainly have moments where we feel like we're going a little crazy, so we take a look. And without fail, we see that our net worth has continued to increase because we don't have debt dragging us down and most of our money is making more money in the stock market. But that should do it for today. Have a great rest of your day and I'll be here reading to you tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.